Hey everybody, I am Scotty J. Welcome back to Rock Titan Live. We've got an awesome show for you today, as always. And uh, I just want to say up front, if you guys enjoy this podcast, which I have every expectation you will, show us a little bit of love, give us a subscribe, as well as for the guests that we have on the show. Go out, support these artists as well. And uh, But anyway, getting back to the show. It's been a very tumultuous year. I think we would all agree with that. And especially for the fan base of all these musicians that want to get out there. They want to be at the live shows. You know, we want live concerts to open back up again. We all want to be out there at the festivals having a good time, but you know, with everything going on, it just hasn't been able to happen. But one of the things I think that gets lost in all of this, that is not lost on my guests coming up here is everyone. That's not the musician. There are a lot of people that are associated with the touring life, you know, that put these festivals on from concessions to sound engineers, to the lighting people, to the load in crews, this, everybody, you guys get the idea. There are so many moving parts and this has crushed them every bit as much, if not more so than the musicians themselves. So we're going to talk a little bit about that because uh, I am joined by a couple of guests that are going to be putting on a live streaming event called For the Crew this Saturday, March 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by a friend of ours who's been on this show before, singer-songwriter Tommy Mars, as well as the guitarist for the Smashing Pumpkins, Jeff Schroeder. Guys, how are you? Good. Nice. Love it. <laughs> Yeah, Good. doing well. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Scott. Well, it's an honor to have you on the show. Tommy, I saw you taking notes there, man. Oh, I mean, I don't know how you intro that whole thing right off the cuff, dude. You're you're a rock star, man. Oh, stop <laughs> it, man. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And then I watch all of your, uh, you know, podcasts that you put on. Because everybody, Tommy, you know, he's he, he's a podcaster himself. And you've got, like, thousands of views, like, the minute it's over, you know. For me, I have to, uh, you know, get – I'm running out of vital organs to sell. All right. <laughs> so, you I'm know, say I bribe everybody. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, no, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me on Rock Titan Live today. And Tommy, I, I have to thank you for bringing this most noble event, you know, to my attention, to the audience's attention for the crew. Um, I guess before we get into the details of that, how did you and Jeff meet up? I know you guys got some collaboration. You're both, you know, guitarists, you know. Well, how did you guys well, meet up? Actually, we met in person last year. In LA, well, it's over a year now in L.A. Uh, it should have been, again, this year, but COVID knocked out NAM this year. Uh, or, you know, it was virtual, but, you know, not in person. But, you know, th this kind of was the way it worked out. You mentioned Lizzie Hale earlier. I, I, I know that she had done some stuff like this. But, you know, Jeff and I were – we just – to be honest, I mean, we've been like talking about 20 different things. If we're like a computer, we have 20 folders open right now. Between us. <laughs> That's true. That is true. <laughs> like, yeah, that is true. I, like I have to go through and swipe here, you know, when this thing's over. But, yeah. you know, uh, he, he has, you know, guitar tech. And we, we were talking about all of these things going on, you know, with um, the touring crew members. You know, there's the great women and men out there that are just getting killed by this, this pandemic. They're not working. And we kind of just were talking about it. And it just seemed like. I think once we, everything was out on the table, it seemed like a no brainer that, you know, this would be really cool if we could do this and let's start asking people if they want to do it. And the first person I called after uh, Jeff actually was Kevin Rudolph. So awesome. who you know as well. Yes. We had Kevin Rudolph on the show. Yes. That was a lot of fun. That was very cool. Yeah. You know, um, when Tommy called and, and asked about doing the show, I was, of course, it, I mean, I was like immediately like, yes, I didn't even, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't give you like, Hey, let me think about it. I said, let's just do it. And we kind of just, well, I mean, we had to obviously figure out like all the logistics of it, but um, right. you know, to me, it, it's, it's such a, an important cause because I think it, it's just one of those things where people, they go to a concert, you go see the band and it's really easy to not see like the bigger infrastructure that's there that really makes that go on. And so, I mean, let alone from people selling t-shirts, concessions, parking, all that kind of stuff. But especially for us musicians, our crew members, like my guitar tech, our sound and lighting people, um, our tour manager, our production manager, there's all these people that, that make it, you know, a reality. And, you know, and, and, and I think another thing is people think, well, 
you know, well, you know, they could do something else or whatever. But you have to understand that like, these people are super, super highly skilled and highly trained. It is a very, very difficult job to be a level guitar tech because, you know, for especially for a band, I'm lucky I get to be in a band like Smashing Pumpkins where we get to play really big, giant shows. And, you know, the, uh, the mistake factor has to be really, 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 really low, you know, and so only... You know, we're lucky we get some of the best people in the industry. And it's really, really difficult. These are people that have dedicated 10, 15, 25 years of their life to being a guitar technician or a drum tech or a front of house sound engineer. And, you know, there's sadly, this industry has very little um, infrastructure for these people to like have secure, you know, 401k plans or health insurance or anything. They're literally... A lot of these people are working gig to gig. As soon as the tour's over, they're they're out of work, you know. Right. And um, so, to to me, like when Tommy asked, like, "Hey, can you get involved in something like this?" I was like, "Absolutely, absolutely." That's very cool. So obviously, you add a big name to it, Jeff. And you know, we mentioned Kevin Rudolph. Um, someone else in Smashing Pumpkins, mm-hmm. Jeff. Uh, we got uh, what? Katie Cole. Yeah, yeah. You know, we put you know talking about the lineup. You know, obviously, Tommy and I were like, man, it, this is a dude fest. We need to have, you know, <laughs> let's, let's get. It's true. It's That's what we yeah. were saying. Like, dude. Yeah. And, and we really thought of Katie because she's such a, not not only, I, I mean, she's an amazing, amazing musician. And, and, and she blows me away with her, her musicality every night. You know, her level of professionalism is off the charts um and she's just a funny person and a great person to be around um but she's such a hard worker and and during the pandemic she's been very flexible and and doing all sorts of online shows so i knew i could call her and if she basically didn't already have a gig that day that she'd probably be able to do something for us and i think she said basically yes right away right as well that's cool yeah Yeah, i mean right on the phone our, our call she was just it was like Hey, we're putting, she's like, yes. <laughs> I mean, it was great. Yeah, yeah, it, was great. It, was, it was cool. That is cool. I, and I'm not going to lie. I wasn't all that familiar with her work, you know, prior to looking at this roster for, uh, for the crew, everybody again, for the crew. And it's not, and, and it's not Motley crew. It's for crew members. Right. <laughs> the crew. right yeah. Th- thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Just so there's no confusion. This isn't for Motley crew. This is for the crew. All right. Everyone associated with, you know, making sure that musicians like Tommy and Jeff and Katie and Kevin can all do their jobs without having to think about all the little things, you know, that uh, they don't necessarily want to have to spend their time on, you know? Someone's going to tune up their guitars, their basses, replace the strings in a moment, you know, when something busts live on stage. You guys, anyone that's ever been to a live show, they see all these moving parts. I just don't know that they necessarily appreciate them, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's tough. But, uh, yeah, Katie, so I was checking out her work, and, man, alive, I mean... What a beautiful voice, you know, and I know that, uh, you know, she plays bass with Smashing Pumpkins, um, but man, she could play that guitar and uh, she's beautiful to boot. So, yeah, like you said, I mean, to break up the monotony of you guys a little bit, I don't think you guys did too bad there. Now, uh, who's, whose idea ultimately, Tommy, was this your idea to put this together? Yeah, well, yeah, sort of. You know, it's weird because. It, it was almost like a idea. So you can admit you can you can take the it was it was Tommy's idea. Oh, He's being uh, very right. humble. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, it was, but it was almost <laughs> like uh, it was almost like a perfect storm. Like in a way that Jeff and I were talking about his guitar tech, and I had just gotten a call from one of my guys actually that helps me with shows and stuff, and it was it was talking about unemployment and stuff. You know, it's talking about like that sort of thing, and it right. just you know, I got off the phone and I felt horrible. You know, because like. If I play shows or if I tour, this is somebody I like to have with me because this is somebody I trust. I know that like my mic's going to be in the right spot. You know, I know it sounds crazy, but those are like really important things. Like, absolutely. For instance, like the where my mic is placed, it's very important that I don't have to keep adjusting it because I like to jump. And if I jump and come down to my tooth, it's over. You know what I mean? So like, right. it sounds crazy, but that's an important part. So I felt awful after the call, and then I had just spoke with Jeff just about his his guitar tech, and kind of it didn't take long to kind of formulate, and I was like. I feel like we should be able to do something. And I feel like 
we're kind of in a position because we both have our social channels. I mean, people have been asking me a lot, hey, are you going to do one of these online shows? Can you please play some of the songs from Chasing Light, even just on your acoustic guitar? And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to ask Jeff if he's if he's up for something like this, because I think it could be something that's really worthwhile and fun. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Chasing Light, and everybody, that's the latest album from Mr. Tommy Mars here. But uh, it did pretty well on the uh, on online sales. I was looking, uh, you, yeah. you know, as far as charting wise, you uh, you know, you're certainly up there in Thank the you. top twenty. Kudos to you, man. Thank you. Uh, you know what the crazy thing with that is? It keeps going in and out, and uh, that's really for me. It's a rare thing. Like usually, it it's there the first week, and then you know, <laughs> see you later, and never hear from it again. But yeah, man, it it kind of goes in and out and it's such a blessing i just for people to hear it and then asking me about a certain song hey what does this mean or is this about your dad or something it's yeah, it's touching it's yeah amazing. no that's awesome well all right so i'm curious about the logistics of this because obviously this is not live in front of a studio audience right this is the, you're going to be streaming this from now are you all going to be in your own remote locations in your own studios doing this how is this exactly working what what is the audience to expect either one of you i guess jeff <laughs> jeff, jeff yeah jeff go well, ahead basically you know because of the logistics of it you know it has to be done beforehand you can't you can't actually stream it on no count live like so we have to turn in our so we basically have already put together the performances okay all right very cool yeah yeah so it's not live in that way but what I can say is all the performances are unique to this show. Okay. And over the course of the last, I don't know, six weeks or whatever, we really started to take it seriously. It, it shaped, it turned into something um, above and beyond like actually what our initial expectations were. Uh, the amount of, of, of special guests that were willing to participate um, was just kind of mind blowing. And I think, you know, that's a real testament to Tommy's heart is I think that when you have a good idea that's pure and in intention, they tend to blossom and grow. And that's what happened with this. So um, as far as I'm concerned, what has been so cool about um, like what musicians have done during the pandemic is that it's created all these scenarios that would never be able to take place you right know, on. because of people would be on tour people, you know, just wouldn't have the time or honestly, probably the desire to do it. But because of this, you're able to ask musicians, hey, do you want to get together and do this song or do this? And and people have been like super receptive and we're able to put together some really, really awesome things, like super, and, like super stoked. And across the pond too, like we're doing things, we both have uh, some collaborations that are what, UK and USA, like right. multiple collaborations. It's yeah yeah that's very cool all right so let's in terms of all of the artists that are going to be a part of this live stream event again this saturday march 6th right march 6th at 7 p.m eastern time and we'll have all the details we'll have all the details in the link where you can go and watch it and you know contribute to the good of the cause i know that um awesome. that's something that you know we want to make sure that we take care of there um but so obviously you know tommy jeff Kevin, Katie, are there any other artists that are a part of this? Oh, yeah. Yeah? A, I mean, m many, many. Okay. Yeah, do you want, can I you want to give one away? Or how do you want to do it? Give me a spoiler, <laughs> man. That, give me a spoiler. One that, one that we're both very excited about is is over the last few years, I've been lucky because we both you know, work with Yamahas. I've become pretty good friends uh, with Scotty Hill from Skid Row. Right on. And so Scotty Hill is going to be you know, part of this. Yeah. And, okay. and he, he, as Rob Halford says in that song, he delivered the goods. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? He, he, really he is going to melt. Yeah. He's going to melt face. This, this, his guitar performance was, uh, I don't know, man. Cause I, I, Jeff was fired up and then, you know, I got, I heard it and I was just like, Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is amazing. That's very cool. Well, you guys, yeah. Cause you forget, you know, with someone like him, He's played guitar solos on multiple hit songs. Like his solos in 18 and Life and I'll Remember You are really classics of the just some of the best of the genre. And so, you know, when you get a file, you get, you're getting a file from a person who's delivered at literally like the highest possible 
echelons of rock history. And so we're very lucky and blessed to. Yeah, I know Sebastian's very proud of that. I know he is very, very (laughs) proud of that. Yeah. But uh, all right. So more spoilers, more spoilers. And I I have fun poking you guys just to see what I can kind of get out of you. Like the Pillsbury Doughboy. You know, I don't know if you remember any of those old commercials back in the day. You poke him. and He's like, <laughs> you know, I just want to yeah, see what I, kind of a reaction I get out of you guys. That was pretty good, actually, Scotty. That was that was pretty spot on. Nice. I, I work on my voiceovers all the time because, you know. <laughs> It's it's it is an aspiration of mine. We'll see what happens one of these days. But Tommy, so a, actually, I used to have a great guitar, a guitar tech. When you'd compliment him on his work, he would say to me, "He goes, it's not a hobby, yeah, right? <laughs> right? It's like the best way you can tell Tommy. So tell Tommy, it's not a hobby. Yeah, not yeah, hobby. no. I mean, <laughs> seriously, I, I I I would love nothing more than for my passions to become a way to make a living. But you know, that's uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know. It's coming. Yeah, yeah, you never know. But uh, Tommy, so would it be safe to say that you are going to be playing some of your chasing light material? Hmm. <laughs> I didn't hear you coming to me. Yes. Uh, so I, I am. And uh, there okay. was one song. Uh, okay, I guess yeah. I give I'll give one song away. So there was a song I wasn't going to play, and I got a, a group of musicians together, and we were rehearsing the songs that I wrote down, and it was almost like a mutiny. We we're like hey, we're not playing Stuck in the Middle. I mean, that's your big video. Like, it keeps going. And I'm like, yeah, I just don't want to play it. I'm not feeling it. Right. And so I was like, uh, literally, I was like, hey, I'm going to go get some tea because I had, like, you know, my voice sucks and it goes away, like, so quick. So I said, like, hey, I'm going to go get some hot tea, go go use the restroom. And I came back and they were they were jamming it. They were all figuring out all the chords and everything. So I was like, what's up? You know, what are you guys doing? They're like, we really want to play this. So I was like, all right, well, let's run, run through it. So Steelers we run through it. And I was like, baby. Holy crap, man. That was actually, and I could sing it. Like, I was like that, that wasn't bad. So I was like, it's in, man. We got to do, so we're doing Stuck in the Middle with you. Dude, you with do you. that so well, too. I got the feeling <laughs> something ain't right. Oh, my God. Dude, I love the way you do it, man. That, and that's one of my favorite songs ever. I mean, as soon as that song comes on, I actually start dancing back and forth, you know, yeah. like in uh, Reservoir one. Dogs. Oh, yeah. hell yeah, dude. You know, I go, like, grab my shades, pop them on. I'm like, oh, yeah. You know, now I'm just looking for someone to torture, you know? Well, you know, that, that song is, and I can't remember if we talked about that, but when I was recording the vocal, I, you know, because I'm a huge Jerry Rafferty fan and I couldn't, it just didn't sound right. And right. I didn't want to go too Dylan, like, I didn't want to do it too much, but I was like, right. how can I kind of get that essence? And I, I pulled up the video and even though Jerry was gone by the time and, you know, Egan's like doing the, the pantomime voice, right. I was watching his facial expressions and those were the faces I was making as I recut the vocal. And I was like, <laughs> I know it sounds so crazy, but I was like watching every frame and like, he was making these kind of goofy faces. So I made the faces, and it came out great. Yeah, yeah. man. Oh, great, but- Guys, everybody, that alone, that, that that is such a treat. So everybody, you definitely got to make sure you go check that hit up by Steelers Wheel, because that's just, uh, that's epic, man. That That's really cool. Now, Jeff, I'm really curious, man, because, uh, you know, because we've got you and, and Katie from Smashing Pumpkins is there any chance at all we might hear the two of you together do a little Smashing Pumpkins kind of collaboration deal? Um, no Smashing Pumpkins, but Katie oh. and I did do a song together because I wanted, to, I felt like, you know, fans of both Pumpkins would, would really enjoy this. So we did a really cool song. Um, okay. I can say this. We did a song by Steve Earle. Okay. Um, that was done by Emmy Lou Harris on the Wrecking Ball album that was produced by Daniel Lanois. And, you know, while we were doing the song, she sent me her her tracks and they were great. And I was like, oh, and I, I wanted, I started to do my guitar. So I'm like, you know, it really needs an awesome bass line. So I picked up my bass for a second. I said, you know what? I'm going to call my boy Orion Salazar, who is, if you know, Orion was the original bass player in Third Eye Blind and played on all those massive, massive hit songs. And he's, you know, and I never really knew, cause you know, at the time I'm like, okay, these songs are fairly simple, you know, all pop songs. And I never, you know, but over the course of the year, actually, I think I met him the same year I met you, Tommy, at the NAMM show too. I met Orion we became, I actually met him before that, but we hung out a lot that day and I heard him play. And I was like, oh my God, this guy is like a plus 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 level bass player like like wow. like insane like he's really insane and so i hit him up i said hey 
I got to record this thing tonight. So can you send it in, in, in like, if I send you this thing, can you give me something back in like three hours? And he was like, dude, I'll do it. And he just delivered. And it was so awesome. And yeah, so that came out really great. So we're, it, 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 it's really beautiful. I'm super excited about it. It's, it's just, it was such an awesome song to do. Very exciting. Oh my God, I can't wait. I'm so stoked. All right, well, I know you guys got to get going, but the, so we'll try to wrap this up here. Uh, in terms oh, those of aren't even, those aren't even the big guests. We haven't even dropped the real bombs. You know, there's some. There's even big well, guests. I I wasn't we aware. I, I well, I wasn't sure if you were going to be able to drop any big bombs. I'm all about getting bombed, man. I love getting <laughs> bombed. You know what I'm saying? So bomb away, <laughs> Mr. Bombardier. Let's go. Yeah, but you have Taco Tuesday, so you know. That's no, a, man. Hey, know. hey, it's on hold. It's on hold. It can wait. You know. Yeah. Let 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 the children uh, starve. You know, you it's all good. Mr. Bombardier, you know, Jeff Schroeder, the Bombardier. Let's go, man. He's the shredder and a Bombardier at that. So let's well, let uh, say I can put it this way because, you know, Jack Bates, who actually is the, you know, Katie plays keyboards live and okay. sings and especially if I was live. Right. And then uh, we have a bass player named Jack Bates, who is actually the son of Peter Hook from Joy Division and New Order. Right on. And so we, um, through... I, I was like, Jack, you know, I want to do a couple of tunes with you. And then he was like, well, why don't we ask my dad? So we actually got Peter Hook from Joy Division New Order to do a song. And it just came. It was, it's, it's amazing. It came out nice. so good. Nice. Nice. Now, I'm hearing a lot of dudes here. I'm still hearing that Katie is, <laughs> is, is the only woman involved with this. I am going to assume that she is not the only female involved with this streaming event. Any other ball, any other ladies of note? <laughs> no, we have other guests. Actually, we have a couple other guests, and no, they they are. She's she's holding it down for it. She's so it's a complete it. and total dude fest. You have subjected Katie Cole to an absolute testosterone zone. Man, it's a good thing this thing is all uh, you know, like remote, you know, and everybody's not exactly. crammed into one room, you know, because exactly. everybody's been, exactly. everyone's been socially distanced and quarantined for so long, man. Oh. You know, yeah. I, you know, and the thing is, to, to our credit, the one thing I will say is because, like, I always, I always, like, I'll take the blame on stuff, but to our credit, to Jeff and I, we have been, we're, we're kind of like the center of this thing, and it's been. And it's the, probably the one that, for my life, has been one of the most insane things I've ever been a part of because it's not just like setting up a show or practicing your set. There's, I mean, literally some of our conversations, hey, bro, I got to send you this file. Or, all right, I'll talk to you a little bit. Like, there, it's quick stuff like that because it's so fast. There's so many things going on. And then getting files from another country where they're five hours ahead. So it's like, hey, so with another guest that I'm, I'm playing with is, Hey, I'm going to send you these files, but then I have, there's a turnaround time, man. There's cause uh, it's just been so nuts. So to be honest with you, to, to, to kind of take it on the chin. Yeah. I, I, I didn't even think about Katie being the only female, even though I wanted a female voice represented. I mean, Jeff and I actually we really spoke yeah, about that. Yeah, but for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't even, things were happening so fast. In fact, next uh, time this, yeah, next time, but this neck, this other guest, this was a, I mean, not even 12th hour. This was 13th hour. Hey, we're doing this thing. I would love to have you a part of this. And it was like, yes. And I was like, I can send you drums right now, but I need all of your stuff tomorrow. Filmed, recorded, everything. And this poor guy worked 12 hours out of his day to get it. That is so it. cool, man. That's so cool. Now, how long is this streaming event? I know we talked about it kicking off at 7 p.m. Eastern. How long is it? Uh, I think it's going to be like an hour and a half. Okay. I think so. But you know what I would tell people is get there probably around 630, I think, to, to get in the lobby, so to speak, because okay. there's going to be a little bit of um, just some some special little, I would say, let's just call them little nuggets, special little nuggets. You know, okay. The, show, like, the music starts. All right. So it's not like this is one of those streaming events where, you know, at this particular time, the action just kicks right off. You actually are treating this very similarly to what you would expect as if you were at a live concert event. Yeah. Yeah. I yes. Mean, but, oh, but except the one exception being that we decided early on in the organization of it that we're actually going to switch off acts instead of one person playing a set and then the next person because we felt like since we actually have the ability to switch from person to person, it would be better to give everybody a variety. So if you get if you don't like someone, 
they won't be around for too long before someone that's else will come along. That's actually no. That's uh, that that that's that's yeah. kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, so now with this going off again, March sixth, seven p.m. Can we look forward to any more for the crew like events? Uh, throughout the course of, you know, wrapping up the winter. I can't even believe it's already March. My God. But, uh, you know, and is, is this something that we can maybe look forward to, like having having more of these? Have you guys thought about that? I, I'm going to sleep for three weeks after this, so I, I don't know, man. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty much like the last, like, it's like I've been, we've been, Tommy and I've been stuck in the For the Crew bubble for like at least the last 10 days nonstop. So that's a hard question to ask us right now. All right. All right. That's all good. <laughs> but now, now, so Jeff, for you, um, you know, other than this particular event going on, have you been active with the uh, Smashing Pumpkins? You got uh, anything you can drop as far as what you guys are doing together? Uh, anything yeah, you're doing I mean, individually? Well, yeah, we um, did a, a new record came out on Thanksgiving, Seer, um, and that came out and uh, we actually have been working on even another new album. And so uh, Jimmy Chamberlain is actually in Nashville today, you know, at, at, at a studio tracking drums, you know, for the next couple of weeks. But we've been exchanging, working on kind of like the demos of that um, cool. over over the interwebs, you know. So, yeah. So in addition to doing For the Crew, I've actually been working on this Pumpkins record, too. So, I, like I said, I, when I wasn't joking when I said, like, I really pretty much just live in here right in on. this room. Um, so we do that. Um, I've recorded, actually, a solo song, too, that's mixed, mastered, and I'm, uh, as soon as basically I move past it, I'm going to work on getting the video done for that as well. So there'll be... A, so I have a solo song coming out and I'm trying to work on actually a solo album for the rest of kind of the pandemic too, between nice. the pumpkins and that, like, um, cause it, cause it's, it, it, you know, like I said, one of the, if, if there is a, a silver lining in any of this, it's like, I have this time to spend in here, you know, from not being around, at least I get to be in the studio. So I want to kind of make use of the time. And so I've been trying to work on that too so we have pumpkins and then and then i actually even have another band night dreamer where we actually right on. recorded a bunch yeah we recorded a bunch of music early pandemic thinking it wasn't going to last as long and then we're like okay like um this is going to go <laughs> a lot longer than we thought so yeah. um we want but we want to for that band because we want to be able to go out and work it a little bit more we're going to wait till the pandemic's over to release our new material so we can actually go out and play and support it is supported a little more fully makes sense makes sense smart deal yeah. tommy how about you man what we got coming up from uh, chasing light well uh I'm, I'm working on the follow-up it was supposed to be the the cold record was supposed to chasing light was the warm record you know that was the summer chasing the sun right right the, right, the right, right, right yeah that was supposed to come out it it, it didn't make it for this winter but i <laughs> actually i think <laughs> i think it's going to come out probably spring if I get it finished. And then um, for like the Tommy Mars band stuff, you know, that's the more rock stuff. I have actually a three song EP. It's almost finished and it's very much a, an acoustic rock, more days of the new type uh, record. So oh, right I'm just going to cap it at three songs just because you can kind of go crazy with these things. You know, if I let it go too much and I'm like, Oh, I want to put out 12 songs, three songs is pretty good. So um, they're, they're pretty much all finished. I just got to do some overdubs, but yeah, that, that one's going to be like, I would say a hard, acoustic rock record so not like hard rock with you know booming guitars but just that really i would say the hardest of days of the new ever was it's going to be the hardest part of them and uh I'm actually really excited about that too so i'm going to have two things hopefully out in 2021 very very cool all right wow good stuff man oh well i'm excited i'm excited and everybody else out there watching rock titan live right now you should be too so again we are joined by jeff schroeder of smashing pumpkins and tommy mars we've got a live streaming event kicking off this march 6th saturday at 7 p.m eastern and it is for the crew all right this is all in support of all of the people that you know, make sure that the the live concert experience, you know, goes off without a hitch. You know, they make sure that these musicians can do their jobs, you know, that much easier. So make sure you get out, check this out, look at the links. It'll give you everything that you need. Go out, support these guys. And uh, Jeff, Tommy, once again, thank you so much for joining me. It has been a blast talking to you guys. Uh, thank you. 
All right, you got it. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. All right, everybody. I'm Scotty J. You're watching Rock Titan Live. We're out.